Yeah, yeah now you can just start. So, so I would like to thank the Shah for introducing me. I'm Kamukul. I'm based in New Delhi. For me, art is just a way of expressing the unsaid, unsung emotions, the raw feelings which people are not usually able to do that with the words. So for me, art is a blank canvas wherein I'm just expressing myself without being judged or thinking the fact that I'm being judged because this is just me that I'm expressing. So I feel that whenever I'm short of words, it's just my uh, canvas and my paintbrushes that I use in order to express myself fully. So for me, art is just a way of expressing who I am and who to become with the This painting, the title is Divine Intervention. It's Divine Intervention. Yeah. Okay. So it's basically the two souls, the two strangers being put in one place through the divine and the two souls coming together and blossoming of the new life within themselves. So these particular symbols are just depicting the new life, the birth of new life through the help of the divine intervention. So it is more like abstract expressionism plus the figurative. And the colors that I have used are very somber in order to depict the purity of the bond, the purity of the relationship and the soulmates coming together. What about the fish? What is so the fish in Feng Shui also depicts the new life, the beauty of life. So the lotus, the fish, everything, it's all about the birth. Okay. So that divine, can you just describe what actually it is? So divine for me is this the power that's there doing the things for you without you realizing what's happening. So God, you can say. So I would say that this is the God who helped me and my partner to come together when we were complete strangers. And then we started a new one, which helped me move to the next chapter. That was Cinderella got her wings. So what? Cinderella got her wings. Okay. So Cinderella is considered to be a very beautiful Beautiful yet very fragile woman. You know, she is expected to be super soft, very naive, and especially for a woman when she moves to a new place. She is very confused, perplexed about how she should hold herself. But when she realizes her true potential, when she realizes that she has the strength within herself to do, that's when the wings are just opening up for her to fly and achieve whatever she wishes. So the flowers here depict the softness and the fragility of a woman. But when you see the eyes and her nose, they are depicting the strength, the Shakti within the room. It stays within her, but yet she maintains that softness and maintains that, I would say, the Shakti within her. Because the balance, I think, is very important. Being a woman, you have to maintain the femininity, yet you have to restore the masculinity, the few features of it that you have in order to survive the cruel mood. Yeah. Yeah. Cruel in a lot of sense, because, you know, reality is perfect. Yeah. And then this is the title is Frozen in Time. So basically this is a gothic painting. And Frozen in Time for me depicts the stability. It's the moment when you realize, you know, what you actually can achieve. But still there comes a point when you really don't know how to move forward in it. So you expect the new beginning to happen, the new birth to happen. But still it takes time for you to accept the reality and move forward. So this is for me that I'm in the zone where I know what I want to do, but I'm still finding my way out in order to achieve my own okay. Yeah. So I think all these paintings are a little journey of me, of this one year, which is being difficult. Okay. So what do you think, what uh, you have seen through your art within this one year? Was it like anything like has changed uh, inside you? I think it has helped me become more and more expressive in the choice of colors, in my way of expressing myself through the art. And here if I see, this is more like a very rebellious art. And these two I would say are more softer art pieces for me. But here the rebelliousness can be seen through the way I have painted, through the way I have used the brushes and the textures that I have used. So this shows the rebel in me that's taking birth in order to just, you know, break the glass and the eyes. Absolutely. What is your experience till now? I would say the first day has been really good and the kind of mentorship that we got from the dignitaries that were here was immensely helpful for me and the fact that Smita has been so helpful and so generous towards all the artists, you know, guiding them throughout the journey, I would say has been a very good way of experience. Okay. And if, uh, like, uh, what, what's after this exhibition? Any plan? Yeah. 
and become a commercial, commercial artist. I know it's a journey within itself, it wouldn't happen overnight. But I'm willing to obviously work on myself, polish myself with the skills and everything and move ahead in this journey. Wonderful. Good. So we wish you all the best Thanks. in your future. Thanks. Thank you.